What is Potential Difference by kscience.com? Potential difference is also known as voltage. The unit of potential difference is volts, which has a symbol of V. This is the symbol of the voltmeter. The voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference and is always connected in parallel. Here's a cell which stores chemical energy. The positive terminal is on the left and the negative terminal is on the right. This is a lamp which is connected to the cell by metal wire. We know this metal wire has metallic bonding. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. To understand potential difference, we first need to recap metallic bonding. Here is a close-up of a metal wire where the red circles with crosses represent positive metal cations. The small blue E's with arrows in random directions represent the randomly moving delocalized electrons. There are billions and billions of electrons moving at any one point, so we use charge to quantify a very large number of electrons. The unit of charge is a coulomb. One coulomb is equal to 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons. For there to be a flow of charge, this same wire is connected to a cell. The cell pushes the electrons out of the negative terminal around the circuit where these electrons flow back to the positive terminal. So if one coulomb of charge flows per second, this equals one amp. This understanding of current is the foundation to understanding potential difference. If you did not understand this, I advise to go back and watch the videos about what is current and how to calculate it. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The electrons are able to flow through the metal wire as they are repelled by the negative terminal. These moving electrons are called a flow of charge. This flow of charge transfers electrical energy, which was once stored as chemical energy in the cell. As these electrons have the ability to transfer this electrical energy to different appliances and components, we say the electrons store potential energy. The unit for the chemical energy in the cell is joules, where the symbol is J. And the unit for electrical energy is also joules, again the symbol is J. No matter what store of energy it is, the unit is always joules. As the flow of charge passes through the lamp, the lamp turns on. As the charge passes through the lamp, the electrical energy is transferred from the charge. This energy is transferred via light to the thermal energy stores of the surroundings. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The potential difference is the electrical energy which each coulomb of charge stores. So the higher the energy transferred per charge, the higher the potential difference. The definition of potential difference is the energy transferred per charge. We already know the unit of energy is joules and the unit of charge is coulomb. Therefore, the lower the energy transferred per charge, the lower the potential difference. The electrons pass out of the lamp and flow back to the positive terminal of the cell. The electrons return to the cell storing less potential energy as they transferred electrical energy to the lamp. 
chemical energy in the cell is then transferred back to the electrons where they flow out of the negative terminal for the whole cycle to begin again. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.